Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about being a Azure Data Engineer, what AI skills I should learn so that I will be up to date in the market or I will be relevant in the market. As we know that uh, learning AI is very much important nowadays because whatever the role we work, AI is integrated in every role. You may be a developer, you may be a tester, a data engineer, any role what you perform, right? AI tools are getting used to make the things more efficient in every role, right? So I try to kind of a give my point of view where one can focus when they want to upskill themselves in the AI along with their current role, especially when you are in a Azure data engineering role. So I divided these uh, focus areas into three three categories, core AI and ML skills and Azure related AI and ML skills and the ML operations and deployments. So core AI and ML skills means the skills which purely talks about machine learning and AI with respect to any cloud or any technology. Then the same AI and ML as a service, as a workload available in Azure, right? So what are those, what are they and, and which services we can focus or up to what level we can focus. Then ML ops means basically whenever you are building a models like how in the data engineering when you build a pipelines and all, you will have that CICD process, right? Where automatically creation will happen, deployment will happen and everything. Same way even for the models, right? You can have that ML ops thing implemented. That means automatically uh, creation of a model, deployment of a model. So, so those uh, skills relevant to that, okay? So when I deeply go into each category or each focus area. So the first focus area is a core AI and ML skills. Uh, it is not too important, but it is at least uh, a theoretical knowledge or, or a basic sense what is mean by what is needed so that you can uh, up to speed or, or you can feel relevant when you are working on a AI related stuff uh, along with your own role, okay? so. What is more important is in these categories the, the second one with Azure AI and ML skills. So being Azure data engineer in Azure cloud, what are the workloads or the facilities or the services available for AI and machine learning and how to consume them. So focusing that is very important. So that means this point number two or the second category is very important. Then the first category is um, important, but not too depth is not needed at a high level theoretical knowledge is fine. ML, ML uh, ops or deployment is also same at a high level it is fine but the second point that means the AI and ML skills which are available are provided in Azure as a services how to use them so that that skill is very important and the second at a second priority will be a basic core AI ML theoretical knowledge at least. So when I go to the first category core AI ML I divided that into three types machine learning fundamentals. So that means some fundamental terminologies what each term means how the machine learning works. So that is important for example there is I, I, I try to list down the topics here you can list down these topics and try to research by yourself to get an idea. Okay, or I will try to do a videos also in future maybe. So in machine learning fundamentals, uh, one should know like supervised and unsupervised learning mean what what it mean. So basically supervised learning means um, where you train the model in such a way that it will predict the numbers or it will predict the labeled information like uh, what will be the sales and all. In the unsupervised learning, it is like a predict or it is like a categorization or clustering like group it will you will do the uh, you will give a lot of data then it will give maybe by reading all customers sentiments uh, it will cluster few customers as a, a loyal customers few customers as a negative feedback customers that clustering part so clustering kind of a prediction will happen on, in the unsupervised learning so what these terms means what is the supervised learning and supervised learning in ML fundamentals? We should be knowing it and future engineering and data pre-processing. What it means is whenever you want to create a model which will predict the data in future, uh, you need some past data or historical data given to it and perform that model training then it, it can predict in future, right? So when you want to give the data to the model, you cannot give just like that. You need to perform some kind of a pre-data processing and some kind of a labeling and structuring. So what is that? How to do that? What techniques are? So that is called future engineering and data pre-processing. So that we should be knowing it. And few model evaluation and optimization techniques also we should be knowing, like how to evaluate a model, whether model is performing well or not, and how we can optimize the model better, right? So those techniques. 
द सेकेंड विल बी डेटा साइंस बेसिक्स मिशन लर्निंग फंडामेंटल इज फाइन सो देन फोकस ऑन ए डेटा साइंस बेसिक्स देर इज समथिंग कल स्टैटिस्टिक्स प्रॉबिलिटी मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन द सैंस इनवाल बिहेड हाउ द डेटा इज गेटिंग एनालाइज एंड प्रिडिक्टेड सो सम थीरिटिकल बेसिक नॉलेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट देयर सो रिसर्च दैट एज वेल then eda exploratory data analysis basically this means take the data visualize the data uh, like a heat map and then uh, uncover the patterns in it okay by seeing the data so so how to do that right so we should be knowing that and understanding few terminologies in data science like bias variance overfitting that means whether the model is behaving biased or data or variance so there are there is some meaning behind every keyword bias variance and overfitting so try to understand what they mean by in the ml or data science language okay then the third one is python for ai this is little important uh, first two will be uh, this machine learning fundamentals data science basics a uh, theoretical knowledge and what is mean by what is enough uh, but when it comes to the python for ai uh, try to have a hands on on these libraries at least like a basic programs pandas library numpy library science kit li learn library that will help you to build the models by your own and then if you there is some libraries which will help you to visualize the data um, mat, uh, you see that cborn and matplot library so these libraries uh, try to do a hands on with small small examples that will help you so that is about the first category core ai ml skills then comes to the main category which is azure ai and ml tools this means uh, the idea here is uh, few azure services are provided especially to serve the ml and ai needs so if somebody has to use a ai somebody ha have to use the ml features from the azure cloud then there are couple of services available for people to consume them so what are those how, how to consume them so that is the idea to explain it in this category and the first one here as a subcategory uh, uh, under this is azure machine learning there is a azure machine learning service that will help you to build and train your models and deploy your models how to create this service how to create a model build a model train the model deploy the model we should be knowing and there is something called auto ml future in the azure machine learning that means you just provide your data automatically a machine learning algorithm will work on top of it and a model will get deployed automatically i mean without code you can create a model basically so what is that auto ml automated ml how to do that and ml pipelines and ml ops integration that means machine learning pipelines how to build it how to how to integrate the ml ops in it machine learning operations that means the ci cd part deployment part then few ai services are available as azure cognitive services in azure uh, for example vision ser vision service related models so, there is a model available which can give you the vision capabilities there is a model available in azure which will give the speech capability language capability so you can consume that models directly uh, with the help of apis once you create that models uh, or once you deploy that models in your service uh, how to do that right and this vision or speech models will actually help you if for example if you give a image then it can interpret what it is there or, or if you give some sentence to it it can tell whether it is a positive sentiment negative sentiment positive feedback negative feedback and language maybe uh, you are giving a data in a english language you want to convert it to the french or you are giving a audio you want to convert it to the text or text to audio so many so many uh, cognitive services are available in azure so try to use them create one a cognitive service account then deploy some model there and get a U U api for that model and try to write a small code by hitting that api by giving a image and see what answer is getting back something like that right so that kind of hands on is important uh, and then comes to the data engineering plus ai combination that means we know azure synapse analytics and databricks are the main services which we will use for the data transformation where we can write a pyspark code uh, basically when you write that code actually you can take the ml models and integrate inside your synapse and then you can predict the data accordingly so how to do that right we should we should be trying that uh, and uh, how to run the ml workloads or machine learning workloads on the synapse right we should be knowing that and in databricks uh, there are uh, in pyspark there is a, a ml library uh, that will provide the machine learning algorithms which we can take and apply as part of the uh, training to the model so how to do that so we should be knowing that and tensorflow pytorch are the libraries also available that will help you to build and deploy the models so how to use them in the databricks right so try to practice this when you google this or when you try to search this in a youtube you will get a, a lot of videos explaining them or i will also do in future right so try to do this small small hands on 
and one important service in Azure is Azure OpenAI service that will help you to use the GPT models from the OpenAI library. So cre create one OpenAI service, create one GPT model there. I mean, create means deploy one GPT model there and try to hit that GPT model using a API provided by the service and maybe generate a text summary uh, or, or give some prompts, see how the output is coming back and all right. So do this kind of hands on because we will be using all these tools in our day to day life, uh, whatever the role you will be doing it. Okay, so that comes to the important uh, that that comes ends to the important category, which is Azure AI and ML related uh, area to focus. Then the last area to focus will be ML operations. That means automatically a process to build that will automatically build the model and deploy the model, like like a CI/CD. So. To, to, we know that Azure DevOps help you do, to do that, right? So same way using Azure DevOps, we can build a CI CD that will help you to build the models and deploy the models too. How to do that, right? And also how to monitor the model and how to retrain the model if the model is not performing well. And basic principles about responsible AI, uh, what is transparency means, security means, fairness means. So third category to focus this. Uh, uh, not too depth is important. Uh, a slight focus is obviously helpful. Okay, so these are the three categories. So I hope uh, you guys are able to understand like core AML skills, then Azure related AML skills, then ML operations and deployment skills. So try to focus these three areas that will give plus one to your resume, plus one to your role, and you will be relevant in the market in future as well because of this AI. So AI is very important. There is no doubt about it. So please try to focus and upskill on it. Okay. So that's it in this video. Thank you for watching. So consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Also, if you feel uh, or if you have any other doubt or you want me to talk about a, a certain topic, uh, try to comment it or you want to give some suggestion, try to comment it. Uh, I will try to take that topic in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.